Hi, and welcome to Unprecedented Journey. I'm your host, Jeff Oppenheim, and I thank you for being with me again today. Well, believe it or not, we're almost at the end of 2020. What a year, right? Phew. Can't wait for 2021 with lots of hope, lots of promise. Well, of course, there's still a few days left to this year, but the good news is that there's still a few days left, and that gives us time to still practice something that normally goes on around this time of year, and that's annual end of the year giving. Now, in past years, of course, the purse strings might not have been pulled as tight as they are this year. That said, there are plenty of ways to give, and even if you can't give as much or anything financially this year, that's okay. There are still other ways you can give. Give of your time, volunteer. Give of yourself in other ways. There may be resources that you have at your home or your office that you're not using. Here's a great way to clear them out at the end of the year, do some good, and start fresh in 2021, because boy, we all need to reset for next year. Now, rather than introduce you to all these charities and causes myself, what I did was enlarge my circle of friends just the way this channel always does. If you recall, I started this back in March when we were going into quarantine and none of us were quite sure of this new experience because it was indeed a new experience for us all. But I also went at it with resolve of presenting new resource and a different mindset from a lot of different guests that I introduced you to throughout the year. So what did I do? I said, let's go back to those guests because tell you the truth, a lot of them I don't know what charities and causes they stand for and get behind. So it was a chance to re-engage before the year was out, say hello, and ask them the following questions. What's a charity you work with? What's their mission? What do they need most of all right now coming out of 2020? And how can I slash we all help? So you'll get a chance to reconnect with some of my guests from the past. You'll get a chance to Interact with them through the comment box here on the YouTube channel. Feel free to put a comment in to them or to me. And also, you'll get a chance to meet a lot of great causes and charities that maybe, just maybe, you want to consider end of the year giving for this year. So, let's take a look, let's take a listen, and let's learn together. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Osterhoff, and I'm the author of a book called The Many Faces of Happiness, inspiring stories on what makes people happy. Happiness is from the spirit. You ask me about my definition for the word happiness. I have a hard time with this word because it seems to be related to something that happens to you, like happenstance. For instance, you're happy because you got money or you saw a beautiful flower today. I prefer the word joy because it is not contingent on something happening, on circumstances. It's something inside of you. I think real happiness is something that comes from the spirit. It's difficult to attain, but I truly believe in the evolution of man. If you really want something, you will get it. If what you want is good, not only for you, but also for others, it will come your way. Like Tila de Chardin said, everything that rises must converge. Today, what makes me happy is to support the rescue mission of Trenton. to end homelessness one person at a time by offering shelter, supportive housing, vocational development, and behavioral health counseling. I love the quote from their executive director. She said, for over a hundred years, when a homeless person knock on our door, we only ask them two questions. What's your name? And are you hungry? And then one of our staff will sit down with a homeless person and um, help them map out a path to what is next. I support them by donating clothes and through financial contributions. You can do the same. In addition to this, you can also give online classes such as uh, personal finance, photography or meditation. And even you can sponsor a dessert meal. I recall one day I interviewed a homeless lady in Trenton. 
It was a windy, rainy and stormy November afternoon and she was huddling under the eaves of a church, at the entrance of a church, clutching her hands between her legs to keep warm. When asked her what made her happy, she said, I like to give people gifts. I like to put a smile, smile on somebody's face. And I remember a flicker of a hope that went through her face as she said to me, Elizabeth, call me in six to eight weeks time when I'm back on my feet and we will go for coffee and I will make you an apple pie. I am great at making apple pies. This holiday season, make yourself happy by creating happiness for somebody else. Hi, I'm Christina Chu, author of the novel Beauty. This book is about a woman who goes into the fashion industry. She's a very creative, interesting individual. She ends up having a few complications and these complications keep her from the goal of actually achieving her desire, which is to design. The end result, obviously, is that she's totally frustrated and can't enjoy her life and can't appreciate it until she's able to make that happen. In the case of um, this character, she does change and she can change. And I think that is a message that I want people to have. I support an organization called Prison Rights. Prison Rights brings uh, writing workshops to those who are incarcerated, formerly incarcerated or detained. Prison Rights understands that mass incarceration is a social justice and civil rights issue. And reading and writing are a means of emancipation. I support Prison Rights by donating money and by teaching in the program. The best way you can support prison rights is to generously give. Only then can we give back to the participants. Thank you so much and have a wonderful holiday. Hi, my name is Josh Campbell and I'm the COO for Easel Inc., a global social arts technology platform that uses mixed reality technology to digitally document and produce fully immersive virtual tours of art environments for accessibility, archival, educational, and global marketing and promotional purposes. A nonprofit organization that I support is New York City's Arts Connection. For more than 40 years, Arts Connection has provided millions of New York City public school students with art engagement and educational resources. Now more than ever, when we're seeing educational and arts educational programs being cut across the board, here in New York City, over 70% alone, I support Arts Connection through not only donating my time, but also my money. I strongly encourage you to get involved with this brilliant New York City organization, providing educational resources, specifically art educational resources, to New York City's public school students is fundamentally important. You can do so by either donating monetarily through artconnections.org or donating your time for their on and off-site programs. Once again, I'm Josh Campbell and I really hope to see you get involved. 2021 is going to be our year and art is going to be at the front of it. Hi, I'm Heather Fink, the founder of The Sexiest Beauty. Sexy. <laughs> Hello. I'm beautiful, damn it. I am sexy. <laughs> my sexiest truth? My truth is my sexiest beauty. This is my sexiest beauty. 
plain beautiful. That's my truth. It breaks my heart that seniors are alone for the holidays. My own grandma and many of your elderly loved ones are unable to see their own families and friends as they try to stay safe. They are more isolated and alone than ever. Meals on Wheels is dedicated to addressing senior isolation and hunger, delivering nutritious meals, friendly visits, and safety checks to America's seniors, delivering 221 million meals to America's seniors this year. Wishing you all a joyous, healthy holiday. Be safe and stay sexy. Hi, my name is Alive Hamacher. I am the founder and CEO of Innovator Global Advisement. We identify the right partners for collaboration between a nonprofit and a corporation in order to advance a program or a project related to a social cause. Civil society is you and me, and everyone else that lives around us and live with us and share a space with us. But in between that, we have nonprofit organizations. And nonprofit organizations under the Department of Global Communication are called the civil society side of the UN. And these organizations, as we all know, they are the ones that are working on the ground with the communities, offering services the community needs. So that's, this is as simple as I can put it. You have the political side with all the leaders of those countries, and you also have um, a vast majority of uh, nonprofit organizations coming from all around the world and showing their practices and also be present and in some instances, because their presence is so strong, really helping to make changes, legislative changes within their countries or regions or towns where they live. That's how powerful they are, because it's the power and voice of you and me. One of the many organizations I serve is the Pan American Development Foundation. They work with vulnerable communities across Latin America and the Caribbean in order to improve human development and human security. They also align with the United Nations Agenda 2030 and the 70 Sustainable Development Goals. I am currently supporting them by serving as an Advisory Committee Board member. As such, I bring partners, resources, and donate time wherever is needed. The way you can support them is by visiting their website, sign up for news and update, become a partner, or simply donate. As you can see, there are so many ways you can donate this season and all year around. You can volunteer, donate time, resources, you name it. There are so many ways you can help a cause. Feel better by doing better. Engage in a cause. Have a happy holidays, a prosperous and safe 2021. Hello, my name is Jody Scott and I am the CEO of Sierra Sage Herbs and we are best known for our brands called Green Goo, Good Goo, and Southern Butter. So I sit on the board for an organization called Parsa and I partnered with this organization so that we could create a herb garden project. This herb garden project teaches women refugees who um, have left Afghanistan and are trying to return home and we're teaching them how to grow the herbs, make body care products from the herbs, and then sell them for economic development. So we call it the Trade Afghan Project, and we're getting incredible results. My sister and I developed the formulas specifically for the women refugees to be able to make these products and sell them locally. But in addition to that, we at Green Goo donate 1% of all of our sales for the first aid product to the Parso organization to further develop this project. So we're excited to say we officially have two greenhouses. Uh, Trade Afghan is up and live and there's all kinds of products for people to purchase. So you can also visit that site and make a purchase directly to Parsa, make a donation directly to Parsa, but then also by purchasing your Green Goo products, we'll be making a donation on your behalf. We got a lot going on at Green Goo during the season. It only seemed right to continue to give and, and we're always looking for new ways that we can partner with organizations to help elevate their their social contributions. So thank you, it's been a pleasure visiting with you. Hi, my name is Tatiana Torres and I'm the Director of External Affairs for Office of Planning and Economic Development here in Washington, D.C. under the leadership of Mayor Muriel Bowser. 30, we've been in this country for 34 years. We came from Colombia. Um, we were not able to, I, 
was not able to vote until 10 years ago. So that, that was a big relief and being a US citizen was one of the highlights of my life. Um, can I exhale though? I don't think I can. I think I'm still holding my breath at times. I, I think that I, I hold my breath at times when I see what's happening around the country and the, the agony that some are living. And so sometimes it's hard to breathe. The pressure is a lot. And there's some days where you just can't breathe because of everything that's happening, the climate in the country, the suffering, the pain that folks of color are living, it's hard. The charity that I support is Mary Center. For the past 30 years, Mary Center has embraced all communities by providing high quality healthcare, providing social services and education that stabilize family, not just in the physical front, but also financially, education, and providing the needs that the community sometimes lacks, specifically those that are migrants into the country. Mary Center is an organization that I have been deeply devoted to because I understand the passion and the mission, not just of their leadership team, but of their entire staff. They are looking to making sure that individuals that need healthcare can get access to it. And that's why I've enjoyed being with them for the past 10 years. How do I support Mary Center? By making donations, attending their annual events, amplifying their messaging on social media on my personal accounts, and making sure that individuals know to go there if they need help. Mary Center is an organization that does never closes its doors to anyone. And my opportunity to give back to the community is making sure that their message is out in the community. And also for those that are looking to contribute to such a wonderful cause. There are three basic ways to become involved and contribute to Mary Center. Number one, make a monetary contribution at www.marycenter.org backslash give. Two, donating the items that they are really in need of right now, such as diaper, clothing, and new toys for children. And number three, making sure that you as a person that might be insured could be a patient of their clinic. For every insured person that goes into Mary Center and gets their medical um, assessments and medical care through them, they're able to provide health care to someone that is not insured. So as we call it, it's a win-win for the community and for everyone. I give with intent because together we can provide hope, health, and stability to those this year have not had that opportunity. My giving knows that it will support families that so desperately need to rebuild after such a tough year. I give with intent because it is my duty, because it is my calling, and is my role as a human and community member to give back with what I've been given. Well, I thank all of my guests today and I thank them for sharing and giving a little information on charities and concerns they are interested and focused on. And I hope you learned a few things or two today. I know I have, and I'm going to explore a few. We'll also be posting a little bit more information on our Instagram channel. But here's the thing, since we are a community, in essence, of one together, especially through this channel. Stay in touch with us. If you have an organization or a charity or a cause that you work with or work for, please let us know. Send me a comment in the comment section. Also, while you're on the channel, would you do us a favor? Press like, easy enough. Subscribe, even better. And while you're in the subscription box, make sure to change your settings so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Because believe you me, we're gonna make a commitment to that. Going forward, we're gonna to continue to introduce you to charities, to businesses, entrepreneurs that are finding ways to give back, to help, and help us rebuild together. Because I know we can do it better and stronger if we work together. That's what I believe at least. And I hope you'll join me throughout the series and I hope you'll share your thoughts both on the channel here and also on our Instagram channel. I might be able to celebrate some of the work you're doing in fact if you let me know about it. So with that in mind, I encourage you before the year is out, find at least one charity, maybe a new one you've learned about or a new idea that was sparked today. Reach out to them, give of time, Give of yourself, give of a resource, including cash if you can afford it, but give. And give with the purpose to heal and rejoin us all together as one, one community. Well, until the next time, I thank you for joining me. I'm Jeff Oppenheim for Unprecedented Journey. Stay safe, stay well, and keep giving.